Good morning, guys. <laughs> Waiting for her to finish going potty. But, uh, yeah, that's basically what's happening right now. Um, day three, kind of, of our trip. Um, hopefully today's better than yesterday. We don't have any little pets trying to attack my service dog. You know, fun times, fun times. Um, yeah, so basically I'm just walking here. Um, and then go figure out what we're gonna do for the day. I'm hoping to go walk around the boardwalk tonight, this evening, a really cute outfit that I want to take pictures with. Um, but, yeah. So, fun times, fun times, anyway. But, yeah, so, it's basically what's happening. So, I'm gonna make her finish going potty and then go inside because I'm freaking tired. So, yeah. Yeah.
I look so rough <laughs> anyway I thought we'd do a quick little day recap yesterday I was kind of really pissed off over the whole dog trying to attack Rosie situation so I ranted for a very long time but I'm gonna try and make today's intro short plus yesterday I kind of recapped two days so today I'm just doing one um anyway but right now I'm just chilling so so, um, basically we woke up this morning, walked Rosie, I think I talked to you guys a little bit, but I don't remember, um, and then we came back, had breakfast and whatnot, and then we got ready and we went to the beach, um, and we kind of, like, chilled there. I think I vlogged a little bit. I haven't been vlogging as much, especially not at the beach, just because we have more fun there and whatever, but I've tried to get some good shots of us at the beach, and I'm gonna put together, like, a whole thing of us going to the beach, too. That way, for anyone who doesn't want to watch, like, the whole thing can watch going to the beach. Why not? Anyway, um... Um, and then after that, we came back up, put Rosie back up, um, in her crate, and then we went down to, yeah, put Rosie in her crate, and then we went down to the pool, and swam around in there for, like, like, maybe 30 minutes. If you can't tell, also, I am, um, very burnt. Like, very burnt, so, that's fun. Um... After that, we went, we came back up, or, um, after the pool, we came back up, I took a quick shower because my hair was super sandy and it was annoying, um, and then after that, we, Um, I got ready, and then we went to Margaritaville, um, we're in Panama City, if you didn't know, um, but, um, so we went to the beachfront Margaritaville, um, and ate, and then we came back and got Rosie, um, and then we went back to the Margaritaville area, because they have, like, a little outdoor shopping kind of, um, mall kind of thing. It's just a little walkway with a bunch of shops, like, pier front. Um. So, yeah. So, we did that. And then after... So we walked around there. I did vlog a lot. We got ice cream and stuff. I did try and vlog quite a bit of that. Um, I got a lot of, oh, the dog in shoes, because we all know, you know, a dog in boots. What? So, um, yeah, but Rosie had her boots on today, um, and she's going to be wearing them tomorrow, and I should have had them on yesterday, but I wasn't planning on going out, like, much. I thought we were just kind of driving around and then going inside shops, so I didn't really think <sighs> to put them on just because we don't wear them a ton around, um, my house, unless it's, like, really hot in summer because it doesn't get, like, too hot sometimes, um, I don't go out much in the heat, so, um, so anyway, yeah, you got a lot of comments, oh, the dog and shoes, oh, the dog, um, avoided a couple dogs that, I, I don't think that they were really, like, aggressive reactive, I think they were just, like, dog reactive in a playful way, which, I mean, is fine, I'm not gonna excuse bad behavior, but, you know, whatever, um, but yeah, so that, and then... And then we went into this little shop, um,
we went into this little Vietnamese shop. <laughs> um, I forgot what it's called. It's like Tran something. Tran clothing or something like that. I don't know. Um, Tran is a Vietnamese last name, I think. I know. They had a little, like, sign in their store. Um, but it was such a cute little store. They had some really good. And the lady loved Rosie. She was so sweet and so nice. But she was very respectful. And I honestly, I tend to not engage with um, people who aren't super respectful or try and talk to the dog. Um, you know... I, I don't engage with them. I walk straight past them or I tell them, hey, you can't talk to the dog. This lady was so respectful. She was the sweetest little thing ever. She even said she wished I lived around here so she could see me more um, and have me help train her dogs or whatever, which I thought was super cute. Um, but she was so nice. She talked about, we talked about like dog training, like how long it takes and like what like oh I own her train and kind of explain that to her and she just thought it was so cool she admired Rosie so much and oh my goodness Rosie was just so well behaved um and she just she was so happy she was like oh it's so excited and whatever and she was so sweet so you know if I didn't have a chance to give her my um YouTube name but um but yeah I didn't have a chance to give her my YouTube name just because of some reasons, but um, if I'm ever down here again, I will definitely give that to her because she just, she just loved Rosie, so anyway. Um, so she was super sweet, so love her to death. Um, she was definitely by far, she made my day, honestly. She made my day so much better. Um, then we walked around, we got ice cream, um, and so yeah, we got ice cream and then we... So we got, yeah, so we got the ice cream. We were gonna go take pictures, but the sun, like, we didn't have a good spot, and then the sun was going out and whatever. So. my word um so anyway yeah so after that then we came back to the hotel um we took Rosie's gear off and I took and I put her beach stuff on and we went back down to the beach and walked around she tends to be a pain in the butt when water's concerned which like is fine I guess I don't know I just get frustrated because she wouldn't go anywhere near the water which means I couldn't get in the water um, and then we had to, and then I tried to get her close to the water and she flipped out and moved farther away from the water and that really frustrated me. Um, and then we have to hose her off before we come in here at a little hosing station and she was not okay with that. <laughs> so, um, I, every time we come back from the beach I have to hook my leash to her harness and drag her up and hold her between my legs while I spray her down and it's just a pain in the butt um but you know all of that aside um that happened we came back and yeah so my family went out to get dinner and Rosie and I are just chilling here because I am exhausted <laughs> 
Um, so yeah. Rosie. Rosie and I are just chilling here. Anyway, chop that down because last night I had for 20 minutes and it's only been like 10. So anyway, um, so yeah, that's what's happening now. We're just chilling. I'm exhausted. Yay, chronic illness. I haven't had um, a really bad medical episode today, though. I had some little bit of dizzy spells, but, like, not bad, not, like, super bad. So, anyway, that was nice. Um, and, yeah, so, anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. We have one more full day and then a day of driving. So, anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far, and let's continue. You're so tired. Oh, poor baby. Oh, and we got the hiccups. Oh. Oh, this poor baby.